Okay, one more time's a charm. So um, I'm going to make one more movie and um, show you guys my new, my latest technique that I discovered. It's a pretty cool technique. All right, I'm going to um, use this quick selection tool right here and um, zoom in on. First, I'm going to zoom in with my zoom tool on the um, on the character in the scene is my son and this then I'm going to use this tool right here the quick selection tool um, I'm going to click on auto enhance and watch this this is a neat tool it's a selection tool but it's a new tool with uh, uh, Photoshop CS3 you just click and hold down the button and start dragging to the areas you want to add to your selection okay and I'm just going to add this I'll add his face I'm going to go around here and get his arm Okay, uh, get that. Beautiful. I'm going to go over here and add his um, back, his chest, and his shorts. And then I'm going to, um, and then I'm going to let go of the mouse. And there's my selection so far. And I'll go down here. And then once again, I'm going to hold down the mouse button and just start adding some more to the selection. And get his feet in there, his toes. And everywhere I drag over, it's going to try to add those pixels, right? I'll grab this here. I'm going to let go every now intermittently because it'll leave the default area. And then you can see here I've got a problem there with my selection, but that's okay. I'm just going to leave it because it's not a perfect tool, but it's it's going to help me out immensely. I'll show you. Look how nicely that is. It's just clicking and dragging. And it's just adding to the selection. Right here where the color gets lighter, this color is so close to this color, watch what happens. When I get there, oh, it's not doing it this time. Oh, there it is. So I don't like that, so Control Z to undo. And I'm just going to leave my selection there, and that's pretty darn good. But look at how well it's selected right there. I'm going to add a little bit more on the hand here, just to make sure I get that hand all the way in there. I can add a little bit more here to the shorts just to make sure I get all of the shorts. I can see little pieces that weren't quite um, nailed down here. Right here, see if I can get a little more of the shorts here. Okay, beautiful. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom out and show you another technique here. So now I have partially selected what I want and I need to add the rest. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to a thing called masking. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Q on my keyboard, bam, and it fills in, it turns into quick, ma quick mask mode. And you'll see up here it says quick mask mode. And now I'm in quick mask mode. This button is depressed here. And um, the red areas, uh, it's red areas versus this uh, see-through area will show what my mask will be hiding and revealing. And so what I want to do is I want to um, finish this part up here. So white is reveal. White is reveal. Here's my black and white uh, chips, color chips. I'm going to flip them. And since white is reveal, I'll change my, um, get a, uh, a brush tool, a paint brush tool, and set it to white up here. And I'll get a bigger brush. And everywhere I paint white will be revealing on my mask. Okay, if you're not sure, if you're watching this video and I haven't explained to you what masking does, basically a mask is like a cutout, like a stencil, where part of it will be revealed and part will be concealed. So I'm just going to paint in this. Everywhere I paint white, it's actually going into a layer mask, which will be revealing content. I'm going to need to zoom in now. So I'll get my zoom tool and zoom in here. Okay, and get my paintbrush again, and reveal, and maybe flip them. If I hit X on the keyboard, black flips back on top, and I can paint the opposite and paint the red mask in. If I've gone too far, like right here maybe, I can paint the red mask in a little bit. Okay, flip them again back to white, and now I've got uh, now I've got um, I'm painting with black, and that's actually, uh, when I paint with black, it creates the red. When I paint with white, it removes the red. Okay, so over here, 
you'll see I need to paint some red in. So I hit X on the keyboard or click on these little arrows that flip black back on top. I need a smaller brush, use the brackets, and paint in the red. Smaller brackets. Okay. And I get that. Paint this out. And you'll see that I'm working on a perfectly clean mask here. Okay, almost done. Um, I'm going to flip it again because I'm missing a little bit on his toes. And then I'll scroll up and double check what's happening here. I'm going to hit X and put black on top and add a little red right there. I'm going to add some red here onto this area right there okay flip it again make sure I get these fingers in and now I'll zoom out control minus to zoom out and you'll see now that I've got my um, got all set so the last thing to do is um, uh, I'm on layer 8 here what I need to do now is I need to hit Q again. Q put us in quick mask mode, and now Q will take us out. And I've got a selection, and I don't want to delete my um, I don't want to delete my son here, so I'm going to invert my selection. Select inverse, and now the other the inverse is selected, and I press delete, and I have taken out all of the content, uh, and then select deselect to deselect. And so there's another layer done. I've done eight layers so far and um, ready for the next one. Here comes the next one.